What's up guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and this week, Mac Presents continues. I'm gonna show you how to make my homemade caramel and then turn it into caramel buttercream that you can make at home. You guys ready? Yeah! Let's do it! Yay, caramel. Okay, to make my caramel, there's two different parts. So the first part, we're gonna add butter. Get in there. I'm gonna add some salt. This is heavy cream. I'm gonna turn this up to high. All that beautiful goodness in there. That's some heavy cream. I use that for cereal. <laughs> oh, it's the best. No wonder you had a heart attack this morning. Wait, what's that? This is our evaporated milk. Didn't seem very evaporated, but okay. Then we'll do vanilla. So we'll get this all boiled down, get the butter melted, we'll set this to the side, and then we'll start our caramel, which is our sugar and agave solution. That gets really bubbly, and then we pour this into there. We're gonna watch buttermilk together. <laughs> I say caramel, not caramel. caramel and not caramel. Caramel. Caramel feels like the most country way. I don't know. Caramel. I say caramel. I think it's central. Potato, potato, right? I think it's potato. But no one says potato. <laughs> Do you say caramel or caramel or what are the other ones? I think it's caramel. Caramello. Caramel where it's like two syllables. Anyways, however you say it, try to write it down there phonetically so we can see who's right and who's wrong. Yeah. So we got butter all melted. Everything is nice and together. We will set this to the side and now we'll start cooking our caramel. Pot is on high. So agave goes in. We got our sugar. Whoops. I'm drums, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Percussions, go! And then we're gonna add cream of tartar as well. This is gonna keep it from crystallizing. What is cream of tartar? It's just like citric acid. Anyways, it's gonna look like wet sand. Please don't watch this show for any sort of science <laughs> or history, history or that matter. History is really the... Either one. But as the sugar starts to melt and dissolve, then it will turn into more of a bubbly wet sand. <laughs> So it goes from a solid to a liquid. And so once it starts to completely boil, we won't touch it anymore. We may swirl the pot a little bit. I also have water here with a little brush. So as it starts to boil, we can get the sugar off the sides. That helps with crystallization as well. But now, there's probably another song. This is gonna take a minute. I put some sugar into a big silver pot and let it boil. And guess what I got? It's Ca hot. <laughs> caramel. It was tasty and good. And now I put it on all of my food. It was caramel. Caramel. <laughs> caramel. caramel. <laughs> it was caramel. Y'all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, starting uh, to boil. We're boiling, boiling. Is this to get hot? <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm gonna give it a stir. Oh, this caramel Time on. lapse opportunity. All righty, we are boiling. So I, I normally, what I do is I just eye this. So I'll swirl it around a little bit here and there, but I just get it to the darkness I like, and then I'll add my cream mixture. I'm gonna throw on a thermometer. So I'll probably cook it to around 265, 270, and then we'll start to add our cream mixture into it. And now we are just gonna have to like wait again. I cooked it a little bit hotter because I couldn't see inside the bowl, but that's okay. The darker the caramel, the more like European it tastes. It tastes more like French. Oh, this is good caramel. It's very dark. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, nice golden color. See, I didn't even need the thermometer. I'm just saying. Here's the part that's very dangerous. Listen very carefully. This solution it's is- It's the listen game time <laughs> for the listen game. This is important. Okay. This solution is like napalm. It is really, 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 really hot. We're gonna put something in it that is not hot. It is going to react. You will see, go little tiny, tiny bits at a time. I thought we told people not to trust us about science stuff. Well, this trusts, cause watch. I can't see anything. I can see it. It's making some sort of funnel cloud into the camera. Add a little bit more. 
I am the great and powerful Oz. <laughs> yeah. Here it comes. See what I mean? This is danger. But, oh my god, the smell. Do y'all smell it yet? It's really good. Oh, it smells like butter pecan ice cream. Uh, in other news, we're selling a camera half off. Oh it's, no, uh, is it? If anyone online, just go ahead and comment below how much you pay for a camera that's been caramelized. It doesn't work, but it tastes delicious. <laughs> All right, so I'm turning it off. It is going to bubble and bubble and bubble and continue to darken. And then once it gets completely cool, I'll do a skin wrap on it. We're just kind of wrap the top of it. And With let skin? It, let it sit overnight. And then it'll be ready to go. That's all I got. Okay. For my caramel segment. Did it do? Nailed it. <laughs> Why do I do that? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> all right, our caramel is completely cool, and here it is. It looks delicious. Yum. So, doesn't it look good? It looks really good. So now we're gonna make caramel buttercream. So in between the layers, I'm actually gonna use the caramel buttercream, but we're gonna drizzle some of this caramel as well. This is my Swiss meringue buttercream. You could use a recipe. I like to eye it and then try it. I eye it, then I try it. I eye it, then I try it. Meats. A little bit more, but it's really good. By a little bit, I mean two more scoops. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, when we have all this caramel. It was gonna be my breakfast. I think this is it. I think this is it. Mm. Mwah. That's perfect. Let's grab our cake and make a caramel buttercream cake. Sweet. All right, to start our caramel buttercream cake, I'm gonna break down three nine inch cake layers. All right, I'm gonna clean up my crumbs and we're gonna fill this with the delicious caramel buttercream that we made. Yes. I feel like that's what the caramel buttercream is saying when it falls down like that. And then this probably feels real good. Oh, that's, oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, just, oh. Like, even me out in the middle, will ya? Mmm, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, wait, good. that's the same volcano voice. <laughs> what else, who else was that voice? Definitely the volcano. This is, is how the volcano sounds. Is that her voice? Yeah, yeah, Lay yeah. Lay off me, I'm starving. <laughs> so I put some of the caramel in a squeeze bottle because I, I like fun. Because <laughs> I'm fun. Because why not? Right, Brandon. Oh yes, flap me on there. Oh, that's, oh yes. Oh, that, oh that's so good. You smooth me out right there. Oh, daddy, this is this is unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you for doing this for me. Holy cow, this feels great. We're gonna give her a light crumb coat because we're gonna be doing the final coat different. Dun dun dun. You'll see. It's gonna be cool. Hey Joshua, do you want to hear some uh, viewer questions and comments? Sure. All right. Qwerty126. What's up, Qwerty? Said, here are JJR's trademarks. Shut up, guys. You're fired. I hate all of you. Garbage cake! Snow! Bolty straws! Calls every cake he made she and is in love with them. Everything right except Bolty straws. They died, remember? Joanna O'Brien. Hi, Joanna. Says your catchphrase is, shut up, Brandon. And she asks, can we get a montage of every time JGR says that? Oh my god, editors, please, can you make that happen? It would be so funny. <laughs> Renee uh, Visser said, I'm from the Netherlands, and those chocolate Hi. sprinkles you put on toast is called hoggleslog, uh, smiley face. 
Wow, it's really delicious. Y'all should change the name. <laughs> Listen, I've been to Amsterdam a couple times and they eat this thing in the morning. It's like toast and they put butter on it and they put chocolate sprinkles. I think it's the coolest thing ever, but I don't do that. I put peanut butter and they all laughed at me. Oh, why? Because they're like, you're so American. Would you like, like some hollow slaw on top right? of it? Can I just be called like magical sprinkle toes? <laughs> like, I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get this in the cooler to firm up and then we'll do our final coat. All right, now we've got our crumb coat. We're gonna do our final coat. We're gonna do it different this time. Normally we do a final coat and we coat the sides, build up the wall, swipe across the top. Yeah, I wanna, seen that. huh? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, right, you know, sounds, you've been here for how many episodes? 400, been, been you should know. Most of them, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna fill that well though with caramel. I'll show you. I'm gonna give it one scrape. I may want my wall to be built up a little bit more than that. We're gonna go a little bit higher than that now. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna to switch to this little guy. This is uh, just a cake comb. It has a little divots in it, so we'll make a little design on the side. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna even out inside here. Make sure we've got a smooth surface for our caramel swimming pool. Are you ready to fill the pool? Yes. <sighs> yes. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy in the cooler and let it set up completely, and then we'll finish it with some gold popcorn and some decorations. Okay, I have some fun little crispies here that are in bronze, and then I've got some baby versions. Just some little guys. <laughs> can you hear that right now? Yeah. Are you falling asleep? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a sweet and salty kettle corn. I have to taste everything. Go ahead, taste test. I'm a chef. So good, but it can't go on like this. We gotta make it gold! <laughs> And this cake is 40, 60, 100, 1,000 dollars. <laughs> no, this isn't this isn't that gold. I figured out what the cake looks like right now. What's that? Looks like a fat pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. Okay. That pumpkin pie, thick. <laughs> she thick. You gotta get them well coated. Aren't they pretty? Now I'm gonna take and put popcorn all around these sides here, and I'll finish with popcorn and my little crispies on top. Look at this, this is a fancy cake. It went from like your grandma's or like a Paula Deen to this like- This is Meemaw's cake. Shoot, I spilled my jewelry box all <laughs> over the cake. <laughs> Our caramel buttercream cake is complete and I think she looks like a beautiful jewelry box. Guys, you can get this recipe and my most popular recipes in my Man About Cake ebook. Everything's in the description box below. And I can't cut her. She's too pretty, she's too pretty. Cut her, cut her. <laughs> That's funny. No. Okay, here we go. Three, two. What is cream of tartar? Well, the Earl of Tartar. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Earl of Sandwich was like his next door neighbor. <laughs> What's T Pain's full name? <laughs> Tylenol pain relief. <laughs> I've decorated the cake in the car before. Have you? Mm -hmm. Were you homeless? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you went straight there. It wasn't, hey Joshua, my friend of so many years, could you please elaborate? You went straight to, were you homeless? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I have lots of friends. <laughs>